Hello, this is Ron Dogs Over. Um, I am here with, as you could probably tell from the title, another re uh, manga review. Um, this one's going to be on Uku. Um, just finished this. Actually, I also just finished um, Kakashi actually today. It was okay. And then I'm right now on Monster, but that doesn't matter. Um, this is going to be a review on this book, which um, isn't really quite that new. It was made in, in 2006. Um, let me see. This is basically, it's a Viz Media. It's done by Fumu Yoshinaga. I believe that's how you say it. Not too good in Japanese names. But if you remember from what I've said earlier with this, um, it was very nice quality, very well made. Um, as you can tell, I'll show you. Here the first couple pages show just like some little colored parts of the main character in it um and yeah and it's got some uh Us U osamu tezuka cultural prize and uh, eisner award um so that is quite impressive um and um so yeah basically i'll just go with the overview of the story it's a as you can tell, it's a Viz signature, if you can see the Viz signature there. And basically, so I'll get into the story. So it, basically, this is set in, uh, it, it says the I Edo period of Japan, and that's basically, it's when the shoguns and stuff, that's when they were, that kind of era. So, um, basically, um, this weird strange disease hits people um target basically targeting males um it's called the red face pox and basically it's starting to wipe out these men and this was started by um, at the very beginning of the story where a little kid basically is wandering around where he shouldn't be i won't say too much to ruin it but basically he wanders around too much and he gets ends up coming back with this disease and the the parents didn't know what this disease was and ended up killing the, ki uh, the little boy but then it started to spread and they found out that this was all started by their son so basically it wipes a lot of the Jap uh, J uh, Japan's uh, male population not really any females apparently get uh, get the disease so it's like 75 or so percent I'll just say that it's something like that and uh, basically because there's so many people that have been uh, um, affected by this, all the women are basically taking on the roles the men have, the traditional roles. So they have to do, obviously the men are doing the, some of the cooking and they're doing the cooking and stuff like that and they're washing like usual stuff. But they also have to do other things like... Uh, go shopping which is kind of typical i guess but not in this sense but then there's also other things such as like uh having to go chop wood and things like that for, to make a fire and things that basically a uh, typical man a man's job so there's that um 
and e and this e actually includes the shogun. The shogun's actually now a woman, and this woman is very strict, and thus the name Uku, which is the place where the shogun is, and basically she doesn't. They this has happened such long time ago because they kind of did a time lapse kind of a thing and sped up into the future store of the story and there's a part in the in the story i'll try to find it i think it's right yeah i should be able to find it and she's like surprised that there are That uh, she 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 she's shocked when this old man is saying yes. There was actually there was actually a uh, man that was that would be sure uh, shogun like there it is and the third shogun shogun Lord Tamutsu was a at first a man and then you just see the shock of her face. If this will focus. Yeah. So. As you see. She's like. Wow. So there's that. And that. I mean that's at the very end. So that doesn't really matter too much. But anyways. The main character. Who is in the working class. Basically. Um. He realizes that he his family, which is really poor, needs to get mo more money. So he decides, okay, he'll go to this place called the Uku. And basically the Uku is where a whole bunch of Shogun are. It's supposed to be where, like, supposedly the rumor is that 3,000 men live there. And they are basically like samurai kind of stuff they're they're bodyguards that know how to use a sword so basically he decides okay i'll do that they send these people's family uh like monthly pays and stuff of what these guys would be making it's almost like a job like you're getting a paycheck but it's getting sent to their family which is kind of nice um so basically he's he gets sent there and he finds out this isn't quite what he is expecting it to be because he was expecting to be taught how to use a sword and all that kind of stuff almost like the stereotypical of a uh, of like a boy's kind of uh kind of fantasy kind of a thing in terms of war um, so basically, that's basically just about the gist of this whole thing, about, because this is the first volume. Now, I only f found the first volume in this signature, this signature edition. I haven't seen in any of the other volumes, in any, uh, editions anywhere, so, I don't know how popular this is, but I... Hadn't seen or heard of, the, of this manga from anyone yet, so decided I would put this out there. Mainly just so um, people have the idea of it. So, yeah. But it is definitely, it's very good quality. This was, it's it says the retail price is 13 I got it for, um... I got it for about 10 so I, I didn't pay too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll show you, like, here's the cover. And it also goes with the little slip cover, as you can see. So there's that part. And then, as I have mentioned before, let me see this. Um, just so I can keep it up like this. This part is actually really nice kind of paper that is see-through so I'm not sure if you could actually see it 
being see-through but yeah there you can see it on the back so you can see it's kind of see-through anyways and then obviously like I said earlier the artwork that is put there in the very beginning and then it goes right into the story one thing I forgot to mention is that they do talking almost like a Shakespearean kind of way like especially in like the narrative and stuff well actually no the narrative is quite formal regular e English but then they're talking formally like like there's one part that they're saying, talking about Sadakichi where art thou going not telling tis my own secret place that nobody else knows so it's almost like a so it's almost like it's an old style kind of like Shakespearean kind of a feel to it so there's that too so if you like that kind of stuff there's that and the artwork in here is really beautiful like that obviously the cover and the ones that I was showing it's it is very it is made very nicely there is the back and it's showing that picture again except it's not in color now um, and there's the back so yeah so it, it is a very nice uh, very nice uh, manga I will say that it is rated down for mature mainly because there it's not really too much of blood or anything at least not yet but there is some other disturbing things in it that's kind of makes it, it's like it's put in there but it really doesn't it kind of makes sense but it's just not really necessary it doesn't add anything to the story except for one part there is one part where there is a sex scene that is actually very important to the story. It kind of sounds a bit weird. It almost sounds like this is kind of an etchy thing, which it it definitely isn't. But there it there is that kind of a thing going on. So yeah, it it's it was all in all, it's pretty good. I would. I'm thinking I'm probably getting I would probably want to get the next one just to see how the next one is and if it actually is as good as the this is ending up being uh, seeming to be actually so that is basically my review on Uku hope you enjoyed it and highly recommend reading it and yeah and thank you for watching this and leave me a comment if you know anything about this if there's any other volumes when they're going to be coming out and stuff I would love to know and also if you have anything else you want to share yeah just leave some comments to me shoot some and uh, like and subscribe subscribe <laughs> can't talk God. Um, so yeah and thanks for watching. Bye.